Oh! <laughs> How's that for an intro? Um, bit of Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Shock16, I'm back doing another one of those Shock's vlog things that I do. Um, yeah. The quick, the easy, no editing, stuff like that. A little bit of Shock's vlogs. And I think people like me doing these, don't they? I don't know. Do you like Shots vlogs? I don't know. Maybe you hate them. Maybe you love them. I don't know. But yeah, um, Shots vlogs is a thing that I've been doing for years now. And like I say, I just throw one up whenever I can be asked. And yeah, they're just like nice little filler content, aren't they? Stuff like that. Anyway, because I usually just talk about anything, and it, it, yeah, maybe a rant or a little story or something like that. <laughs> Or maybe I'd discuss a little topic or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back in time and tell you a little story now. Um, so yeah, do you know when you was growing up, you would usually have that mate, wouldn't you? That mate, <laughs> where you've got so many like different stories about and stuff, stuff like that. So like when I talk about, um, oh, I've got a mate who had something like that or something like this happened to him like that. I'm no normally referring to just one particular friend. Um, I mean, obviously, um, it's not always him, but um, I had a friend called Dev. He's still kind of my friend, but we've kind of like lost contact over the years and stuff. We kind of like converse on Facebook every now and again, but back in the day, he was like a really good friend of mine, but he was one of those friends where if, do you know what I mean? Like, if you've got a funny story or something like that, or something that happened, it was usually revolved, revolved around my mate Dev. He was, he's like one of those people where I could probably run a YouTube series, do you know what I mean? Like, a video series called The Chronicles of Dev, do you know what I mean? Because he, there's just, he's just one of those kind of characters that just shit always happened to him and stuff like that. And yeah, always funny stuff happen to him and stuff like that so yeah and I think everybody's probably got a mate like that like do you know what I mean when you was growing up you had a bunch of mates but there was always like that one kind of character with just shit always seemed to happen to him do you know what I mean so yeah I've got two particular um, stories that I think that I'm going to tell you but I think I might leave one for another one because this story might take up an entire vlog on its own so yeah I don't think I'm going to have time to tell them both but so I'll leave the other one. Basically, the other one I want to tell you is about um, when he got a Super Nintendo, basically. There's a story about him getting a Super Nintendo. There's something that happened to it. And I've told that story to fellow YouTubers before in the past as well. Like, in, just in general conversation when we've been talking and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I've never shared it on a video, but I think it would be quite a funny or amusing story to tell in a vlog. But yeah. This is going to be a story about the drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> so this was sparked off um, by one of those pictures you see on um, Facebook. And it was like a picture of a guy, I think he's like on a building site or something like that. And he found an old bottle of Mountain Dew from the 1990s or something like that. And it says, like the text on the picture says something about builder finds like um bottle of Mountain Dew from the 90s and he would have won a Super Nintendo or something like that because at the time Mountain Dew was running a competition where you could win a Super Nintendo and other Nintendo accessories and stuff like that and the way you won it is you got a, like if you've got a picture on the bottle cap or something like that however that picture can I just if I can find that picture actually I'll put it up I'll put it up I'll show you a screenshot of it or something like that but Let's just point out that first of all, that screenshot is absolute bollocks anyway. That guy wouldn't have won a Super Nintendo because if I remember rightly, well, if I've got my facts right about that competition, is the way that competition worked is you won whatever was on the bottle top. And if firstly, if you see the picture that he's got on the bottle top, it isn't a Super Nintendo, it's a Game Boy and so, at the most, he would have won a Game Boy. And secondly, it's only parts of a picture. I think it's like the bottom piece or something like that. 
and I think you had to complete the picture so you would have needed at least more than one bottle top to complete the picture so it, yeah well done for finding a bottle <laughs> do you know what I mean um, an early Martin Dew bottle or something like that with a picture on it but it wasn't a winning one so yeah that picture is complete bullshit anyway but yeah this is what sparked it off anyway Martin Dew because it's about a competition it, it, it's about death basically winning a competition which involves Martin Dew so <laughs> Uh, anyway, let me take you back to the 90s. This would have been about 1995 or something like that. So we would have been about um, 13, something like that. 13, 14, going on for, yeah, about 14, something like that. Probably 13. Do you know what I mean? Because I think it was about uh, like early 1995, something like that. Anyway, in the UK, we've got a TV channel here called Challenge TV. Now, Challenge TV is... Um, a, TV channel that basically reruns all the old like TV game shows. So you know you've got like classic Bullseye, classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on there and stuff like that, um, as well as other things like Takeshi's Castle. And it also like nowadays it runs like remakes of stuff. So you've got like new blockbusters and stuff like that. But yeah, it still runs the old stuff on it now. But one thing that you don't get on like new challenge TV anyway, well I don't watch a lot of challenge TV so I'm just guessing really, but I don't think you still get it now. But back in the 90s, when they was looking for like filler, like say if a program didn't quite run as long and they needed something to fill in before the next program came on something like that, they used to do like a little bit of in-studio parts where they would run competitions and stuff like that and it was mostly like stuff like... Um, they would put like a word search up or crossword or something like that and it would be live in the studio so you could ring in and if you could fill in like one of the answers on the crossword or you could find a word or something like that in the word search and you would win a prize or something like that. And this particular one, again I have looked on YouTube as well to see if I can actually find the footage of when Dev won this competition. <laughs> but yeah, um, one particular time, they was running a competition which was sponsored by Mountain Dew or something like that. So yeah, Mountain Dew in the UK is one of those drinks that came out in the early 90s. It didn't do too well and then it came back out in the early 2000s and now it's doing well again. So now you can get all these different flavoured Mountain Dews and stuff like that. Basically stuff that you've probably had in America and yeah, other parts of the world for years and years and years that have done really well. But yeah, Martin Dew, on its initial launch here in the UK, didn't do too well. So it was kind of one of those drinks that kind of hit the shelves, went away, and then, like I say, it kind of made a, a big comeback in the early 2000s. So, but yeah, this certain competition was being, like, sponsored by Martin Dew, and you could win, like, a, like a host of Martin Dew prizes, like, you could win caps, like, Martin Dew caps, T-shirts, and um, I think there was, like, holdalls, bags and stuff like that, um, just a range of Mountain Dew stuff and I think but one of the top prizes was a lifetime supply of Mountain Dew, right? So, <laughs> so bear with me. So like I say, it was like, um, I think it was a crossword puzzle that they had up and yeah, you had, you had to fill in one of the, one of the crossword like answers and depending on which one you could fill in, depended on which prize you got. And I don't think you knew which prize you had won until you got the question right, basically. And just for a laugh, we was watching it, and we were saying, we was like goading him on, we was like, Dev, phone it up, phone it up. Because he knew one of the answers, I was like, we was like, phone it up, go on, get on, and answer the question. So there was me, there was Dev, there was Dev's older brother, who was quite a lot older than us. And then there was our other mate, um, yeah, I think our other mate, uh, Darren, was there as well. So we was goading him on to do it. So he rang up and he got this question right anyway. But the thing is, he was underage because I think you had to be over 18 to enter the competition, something like that. So we had to pretend, like when he won, that it was actually his older brother. So like the competition got put in his brother's name. He get, like, gave his brother's name and stuff like that because his brother was older than us. So yeah, anyway, he answered this question, he got it right, and lo and behold, the question that he answered was the top prize. He won 
the lifetime supply, the lifetime supply of Mountain Dew. <laughs> And that was that, so we didn't really think anything about it, but the funny thing is, we had a, um, a friend called Tony, who used to live on, like, not far away, and years prior, he won some kind of competition with, um, was it with Mars or something like that, so he could, like, it was bars of chocolate, I think it was something to do with, it wasn't Mars bars, but it was, a chocolate bar that Mars made or something like that and he won again a life size, a lifetime supply or something like that but the way they they did it was they didn't send him like a lifetime supply they, they would send him um, so many vouchers every month they would like post them out to his address and then he could just buy like trade them in for free chocolate bars or something like that every month and stuff like that and I don't know how long that lasted for but so that was the kind of thing we was expecting Dev to get, they, Mount and Dew would like post him vouchers to buy Mount and Dew, bottles of Mount and Dew or cans of Mount and Dew or something like that. Do you know, for however many months or whatever, how many years or whatever. Anyway, that isn't what happened. Mount and Dew sent him. <laughs> right. So basically it was like a... Not a lorry as such, but it was like a, a delivery van or something like that. And it had like a few pallets of Mount and Dew on it. So they sent him, like initially they came, like what came was like two big pallets. And now, let's say um, a pallet had three, four crates on it. And a crate, you got a dozen cans. So you had four on a layer, and then let's say that the pallet went up like 10, like 10 high or something like that. So, do you know what I mean? You do the maths <laughs> of how many cans that is. So like four times 12, then times by 10, something like that, so yeah. And he got two of those originally. So that was like more, probably more might and do than he was ever gonna drink straight away. That was the first month, okay? <laughs> the second month he got two deliveries so he got the same again and then he got the same again so now he's had that same amount delivered three times and this kept on happening and he literally had to start storing man and do in the back of his garage it was getting ridiculous like the amount of thing is and that's all I can remember, all I can remember is go, you used to go around his house and do you know like, um, so you, you entered his house and say like you entered into the corridor and then you had the stairs going up and you had like the space under the stairs, all that was filled with like might and do and like I say he had started stacking it up in his garage and every time you went round you'd always get offered might and do, every time you saw him he would give you like do you want some might and do, take a crate with you and stuff like that. Honestly, he had Martin Dew coming out of his arse. Couldn't get rid of it fast enough. I think the guy must have got sick to death of Martin. Him and his family. Do you know what I mean? At the start, it was fine. <laughs> By the end of it, it was ridiculous. I don't know what they did in the end. Anyway. So, and I don't know how long this kind of went on for. But like I said, I was still in contact kind of with Dev. But a few years ago, I saw him in town. I was out and about on town. And I bumped into Dev. And I was talking about it, and I was saying, can you remember that time that you, that you won um, the lifetime supply of mine and do? And it was like, yeah, of course I remember it and stuff like that. I was like, do you still get Mountain and do, like, delivered to your house to this day? And basically what he had to do is, because it was getting out of hand, he had to phone up, I don't know if it was something to do with Challenge TV or with the company or something like that. And he had to explain that he was getting too many deliveries of like Man and Do and stuff like that. And he had nowhere to store it. And they eventually changed it to the voucher system. So he still got like Man and Do, but they stopped delivering it to him in pallets and they started doing it like with the vouchers each month and stuff like that. But he did say that um, he moved, like he's moved house since then. 
Because, yeah, like I said, this would have been the 90s, and when I saw him, this would have been probably about 2009, 2010, or something like that, when I bumped into him, and he was saying that up until he moved house, he was still getting the vouchers sent out to him and stuff like that. But when he moved, he obviously never gave him like his new contact address and stuff like that. So he doesn't know if the people that are living in his old house could still be getting vouchers from free Martin Do. <laughs> so yeah, be basically the um, moral of this story is, is be careful if you ever enter a competition for a lifetime supply or something because you might just win it and it might not be how you think you're going to win it. So yeah, like I said, we just expected him to get these vouchers but it didn't come like that. It was, it was honestly ridiculous that that he had to start storing it in his garage and like I say, he told me that they eventually had to contact people to ask him to stop delivering it basically, so yeah. Anyway, that's just like a, one of the amusing stories that I say about my friend Dev and yeah. But I was just wondering, have you ever entered a competition to win a lifetime supply of something? Have you ever won? Or do you know somebody that's won a lifetime supply of something? If so, let me know in the comments below and yeah, yeah, just let me know and I'll see you in the next Shots Vlogs. See you then.